Hello there guys, this is Perpizad and welcome to episode 9 of our Let's Play Total War Warhammer Orion and the Wood Elves campaign. Uh, we've taken over Britonia as we had done in our last episode. We taken Gorsell and we beat a couple of big armies with Orion's force. With, to be honest, taking very minimal casualties. I did lose pretty much that unit of deep with scouts. But except from that... What's that? Oh, right, stop. Except for that, to be honest, everything else is great. We've got a gold chevron there, two gold there. Uh, oh, yeah, we've got the Rewatchers. Versiegen, Aleheart, Attain, Helmgart, Attain, Feldorf, I think, last episode, and I've attacked Nuln. Um, and we're building up more armies. Death. Who's Death? Yeah, it's you. Oh, you're down here. Perfect. Reload time reduction. Why did I get reload time reduction and not missile damage? I don't know. And I know I'm not researching technologies, that's fine. Forest. Peace to you, not as just because I've just battled you. To be honest, I'm thinking about going and fighting. Estalia, I know I did say I'll keep him there for, uh, like, to fight against the, what do you call them? The beastmen when they come. But if they don't come in the next couple of turns, I'm just going to march him down. I can build an army in six turns. I can build two half armies, if that makes sense, with my four provinces. So I'll just leave him there. Branch Wraith is coming here. I'm wanting a new hero. Is it? Uh, it's just the same. So we'll get Tolterin. And with the Eye of and the Arrows of Kurnos. And recruit. Of course, if we just wait, actually, to heat us up. I thought I'd run one, actually. I thought I'd run one, will you be as well deploying there now? And that actually helps, wow. Two shields. Four Sisters of the Thorn and three Mutwood Rangers. Sisters of the Thorn, one, two, three, four. And three Rangers. Makes that a better army. Um, you're going up a level. Now, global... Yep, but you could wait a couple of tons. In fact, it's about six tons I need to wait out, isn't it? Five. I don't know what I'll do with you then. There's Siege in there. And Gorsell, who's up there? The Vanaheimans. Let's see, I've never saw a wood elf boat. Pretty much looks like half a tree trunk. Pretty nice to be honest. How many tons is it to the Oak of Ages goes? Three tons. So at least we'll definitely see that in this part. And then maybe Beastmen will come for it, I don't know. Oh, there's an army moving. Thinking about actually just fighting these dwarves. I know I'm focusing on the Empire just now. But if I fight these dwarves, it gets rid of any anybody in between. It's the same reason I get rid of Bordelow, to be honest. They weren't bothering me personally, but I'm not wanting them to start bothering me. Can you feel it? From the north it comes. Tendrils of chaos spread south, tainting the lands. And with it, 
the warriors of chaos march we must ready ourselves for war is coming but who has brought the warring tribes together what manner of champion holds that power So yep. Oblivion has come. Archeo never chosen, Sathrael, Prince Sigvold and Kolek, as far as I'm aware they all appear. Yeah, the lake, yep. Spell Slinger goes up, let's see. Doors below, let's get cool down. Dothu, can we attack that? Yep. See that? Let's see, it hurt anything special? Nope, should we get this? And Dothu himself, level 11. Let's get these two spells. Uh, you can go and attack Grunbug. Katra. You. March to Helmgard. Oh, you've already fought. Four turns for that army, that's Orion. But I'll mark you to get a wee bit closer. Approach and make your offer. They've won't they've got two, so what have they got? Carabug and maybe something around right about here. Four turns so that's two turns left for that. There's us get one extra piece of amber. 20,000 per turn with all the armies that I've got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7th building. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 down there. There's going to be a 10th building. 10 armies and we'll still be clearing about 16,000 gold. Wow, I know I do have the buildings generate more income mod on but still pretty good. To be honest I'm giving it all to the tech tree. The tech tree is amazing for the wood elves. I never noticed bombings last time. Or as a chaos, maybe restored them. Um, Findle, you go down. You've got three turns. Do it through. You're ready, actually. I'll put you there. You just march normal. There's an Empire Army there. So some that against Marienburg lost 13. I'll see that. Let's see what they want. Yep, get out for the more experience. This is Voltmar the Grim. So where is Marienburg then? Ah, they must have like Norden or one of them. So let's see, Orion level 18, good, good. What was I getting? Speed, yeah, let's get the armour. To be honest, I would rather help out my army than help out himself. Three turns to you. Now, you've just moved, so you go and take Grun, Grunbug. And see that, and I think you actually get the pastures as well. Let's see, do do do. Arrows of Kurn, no stop of them for you yet. Yep, an experience plus one for cavalry. Nice, a seven. And 
Let's take a look at VG's World Go Up. Yep. I'm saving my amber for more important jobs. I'm surprised he's not went into Outdoor. Personally, I would have, hey, I would have walked into Outdoor and built up some troops to defend Outdoor, being the capital. But, oh well. Marienburg, no. I'm just going to leave them ruins just now, to be honest, because the Norskan tribes will come down soon to fight me. Because when chaos comes, usually they come. What's of wizards here? Four wizards? Mighty Lord, I have three wild riders. You for greatness. Why do they hate me so much now? Your tremendous power Minus two, two, as two. If driven by some divine power. Magnificent, my lord. Yep, the Orca Vegas looks beautiful, yep. Let's see, 12 amber I need. If you look at Garrison, 6 tree can, 2 treemen. So, where is Orion? Get rid of Glaive Riders. And one unit of Sisters of the Thorn. I'm starting to really like them for Wild Riders. Uh, may as well get them with shields. That'll be four turns. Now it'll be two turns. Um, nature's quiver. A level ten, perfect. You've got those both so earthen and asking card. Let's see. To be honest, for having a light army, it's not that good. But I'll wait two more turns till that army's ready. And this one. Well, that's only nineteen. Let's get something else. What you got? You've only got four fit archers. I know swift shiver shards. I've got less range, but we'll go for it. Now you can move. Where are you at? Right, Orion, you take two turns out. Do a three, you attack outdoor. Do siege it. In fact, let's see what outdoor. Looks like. Big deal through. Look at the great swords in the hand gunners. Five right guard, demigriff knights, two mortars, it's some defence. To be honest, that'd be some army to have. That's pretty nice. The only weird thing is that that's right in the middle there. Whereas this wee slip would have been good to have it in. Um, but that's a nice wee feature that looks a bit, maybe a bit like the wee Helm's Deep kind of bit. With the wee side bit. That looks like it's possibly a wee bunker. So yeah, I will fight that eventually. Probably in eight turns when I know I'll win it. There's no point in fighting battles if I'm gonna lose. You attack Kemper bad. Right guard two and five really. It. And level 6. Nature's Quiver, Kemper Bad, what can you get? Nothing amazing. Sacrificial Grounds. Oh, so he's not actually with the city. Right. Sunmaker 129, yeah, that's amazing. The can is pretty good as well, but the Sunmaker is absolutely phenomenal. Possibly, I'd say the Sunmaker is my favourite unit in the game. Some reason I'm not moving. That's fine. So you're there. 
and everything else is happy. You can march down here. You can go some distance, pal. Midland. There we go. So we've got 400,000. Ooh, this Empire Arm's gonna attack me. Even with all the reinforcements, it's still saying it. Shane? It's not Shane, it's still saying that we should just lose. We've got a lot of archers, to be honest. It's the three captains that are bothering me. The handgunners will get battered once I can reach them. To be honest, I've no spells. In fact, do those get spells? Perfect. But the great swords will go and I've got more cavalry. Ah, I'll fight it. I think I'll lose, but I will fight it. I so I will see you on the battle map. The reinforcements are coming in here, which is actually perfect because I was going to set an ambush over here of archers, but the reinforcements coming here. I may as well get my main there. I'll put you there just in case something comes in big deal through. So let's see, Amber Spear, Wild Form, Doom of Flock is pretty good. Is it Flock of Doom? Sorry, not Doom of Flock. Sword of Death, you've got another spell, Potion of Strength, and Forsaker. So we'll start the battle. And do through, yep, you get into combat. Yeah, the flock of dooms doing some damage to them. Up, so here's Dorothy fighting, 28 kills. To be honest, I didn't expect him to appear so close to me. I know that might sound stupid because I actually went here because of that, but. Gunners. And you cast in now. Fifty seven. So yep, good. To 
be honest, they are coming up pretty quick. They've got careful to that's why. Self. So let's see, so far we've killed just under a thousand, but we've lost about six hundred. One for himself there. Now what about these wild wood rangers? They're when they're fighting. Who puts behind their right guard? Think I don't see you. Fired into these tartar souls, they're pretty damn good. In fact, do it right in the Empire Knights. The flock of them. them. They get some more strength in at you. So yep, archers are still firing, they're getting slaughtered some of them, but... Let's see if we've lost three, but get them to charge in there. Empire Knights and Rights Guard. Strong version of 120 men or above. I was even 40 or not. They've taken a lot for the mortars. They've done good damage, all. let's see if here I use. Those doing not bad. So overall, to be honest, there's actually less than all of them what I thought there would be. That hailstone rocket battery's doing good though. Yep, so they're all running. Right, let them win there. Fuck these dryads. Spell gives you more armor. I cast it in myself. So to be honest, there's actually not many of them left. 
I do have the big leaders left though. And Voltmar. But let's just get rid of six flock of doom right. I'll save up for that I think. Hailstorm's doing good. Thirty to one use, keep going please. Thought did pretty good damage. And yep, they're getting shot. No, no. They run, but I'm just turning the shit now. Yep, shot to pieces. I do through, you're all alone, pal. To be honest, you're doing amazing. Ah, uh, no, don't right now, come on. Ah, oh, I think you could have won that there. Well, Dryad's 141, Archer's okay. To be honest, it was a bad first start with me against the other guys. I never realised it would be so wide. If I'd done that, I wouldn't have had archers near them. That's where I lost my first initial, my four best archers, pretty much. Two, three, four for them. Dothu did fantastic, I must admit. It was their rocket battery that did be the best for them. They've only got 500 left. And especially with having three melee specialists. The Volt by the Grim, who's okay, and a wizard, to be honest, I done pretty good. That's your second army. Yeah, a great source done pretty good. Hand gunners get silenced by the flock of doom flocks. And uh, that was pretty good battle, even though I did lose it. Now you marched near to Orion, perfect. And then what I've done next on the Orion will just come and attack. I don't to think that way what my plan is. Yeah, I would say so. If only Dorothy was unbreakable, I think you could have won it, to be honest. You stand before the... I'm not paying you that much, just a trade. Yeah. You were offered a trade, I think, or was it Tilia? I know I did offer Tilia, but I think I offered you a trade as well. Back to us, do through. You just march back home, pal. Yep. Don't worry, we'll avenge you. So, we'll water that one. Oh, a few casualties there. Ah, see that I don't need to raise. Let's see, what do you want? You've got that, so the a spines. Yep, known. What do you want? We'll do that. Might try and take Kemper bad back. Impossible. But next turn the Ryan's gonna get them. The hunter. The hunter will get them. So yep. The Empire's actually except for that fight, the Empire's pretty much been disappointing. They've not done anything well they did have a lot of big armies, but it was just full of great swords, really, which, unless I let marchers get caught up by them, which I was an idiot to do, 
they're going to die. But I won't make that mistake again. I probably still should have just used that bit I was going to use. The darts are there. Ah, Stally, I know I'm there. Oh. I'll be following that on me. I've got Wild Rider units. How's that? Lord of the Asprey! You are mad! Asprey! To battle! Perfect. 84,000? No, imagine that doubled. So Outdoor's got the port. And we'll get that just so we can protect it. Uh, uh, and you've already ran away, so you won't run away this time. So it's plus four leadership. Yep. Archers and yous would do good. Perfect, and oh, a spell singer. Spawns a manticore. I'll be having you. Let's see what's below me. Just the moot and Tabenheim, I think I've got now. And I've got 12 amber. But I'm gonna wait. Oh, you've been up a level. Perfect. Now I've done that. Let's get this army done. You can attack Mon for it. Oh, it's a spanner. Leadership. I should know that one by now. Uh, see that. One fort. I can get iron. You go there. Do it through your. Going back here. Your siege won't work bad. You're not doing much. So we're still a little bit sure that we're getting there. 13 amber, so if I do lose that one, it doesn't matter. So let's get a soak of ages. 10 tons. Your actions have not gone unnoticed, my lord. Dark forces are now massed all around us. They come to destroy the. Okay. You still want that non aggression? We may not be the Empire, but our realm has written. Do not greet me as a friend, nor are we foes yet. Until here. Greetings. We may not be the Empire, but our realm. Yeah, perfect. So me getting 2,000 in trade. You need to recruit some guys. Three Wayward Rangers, three Waywatchers, and three Way them. Um, if I was Anvil, I wouldn't do this unless they did, but we do need more guys. Um, I know it's on myself a bit. Azure Spears and t -t 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 Watchers. Not you can get something else. Get that. Thickle Vars. 
you come down there. You're at Montfort, that's fine. All my armies up here. I've done the job, yep. Yep, so we'll end this episode there. That's been about half an hour, maybe just over. So in the next part, we will fight these three beastmen armies. Maybe not all three of them, but we'll fight them. Oh, best of go herds. What's this one got? Raza go herds. And all more go herds. And this one's got a Saigor. So yeah, we'll fight them. We've got a good army here. We've got a fantastic army here. And pretty good army here and make more armies. Yep, so thank you very much for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and when you do subscribe, do make sure you smash the bell button, you do not want to miss me battle the beastmen. Thanks very much for watching one more time, proud P out, to the now.